Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Evan with Podpeak, and in this video, I'm gonna install the Mixbus 6.2 update, which has the highly anticipated feature of VST3 plugin support. Let's dive in. Welcome to Podpeak, where I talk about recording, editing, and sound design for music production, podcasts, and film. If you're new to the channel, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and make sure and ding that bell so you get updates every time I put out a new piece of content. So today's video is gonna be a little bit different as I'm gonna show you my experience installing the new Mixbus 6.2 update, which is free for all Mixbus 6 users. The Mixbus community has been highly anticipating this update as it finally introduces support for VST3 plugins. And just a quick note, I'm gonna be installing this software on my 2014 iMac, which is running the latest version of Mojave. All right, let's check it out. All right, so on December 13th, I got an email from Mixbus in my inbox. And it basically went over that there was a new update and they were gonna have support for uh, VST3 plugins, which is awesome, we've all been waiting for that. Uh, plus some other improvements and bug fixes. So I went and uh, followed the link and tried to open it, but on December 13th, it, it wasn't working. I just kind of got this spinning wheel of death and it just looked like it wasn't happening. So I used the Brave browser and so I switched to Google to see if that would make a difference. I, I just kind of Google searched Harrison, tried to open the Harrison website and again, just same thing, spinning wheel of death. So I just kind of assumed maybe their servers were down or they got so much traffic uh, because of the new update. So waited till the next day, December 14th, went back into my email, uh, opened it up, followed the link, and this time it worked. So apparently they got it sorted out. So anyways, I went down to the Get Mix Bus, opened that up, and entered my email, my credentials, um, put that in, placed my order, and then it gave me uh, this option to download it. I did the Mac installer, and yeah, it seemed to be just fine. Saved it, and downloaded it, and yeah, running good. So I opened it up, and moved it into my applications. I just replaced it over the older version of Mixbus. And then I got this screen where I needed to go into my preferences and essentially give it uh, permission to install it on my Mac, which is just a security feature, uh, which I'm fine with. So yeah, so uh, opened up Mixbus. And this is one of my old sessions. So the first thing I did was went into my preferences and I scanned for new plugins. So it did that, it took about five minutes. I just kind of fast forwarded it here. Um, you can see it's scanning the VST3s. So yeah, just cruising along. Everything seemed to go fine. And so what I was gonna do then is I just decided to go through some of my favorite plugins by creator and just see what happened. So I started with uh, Arturia plugins. I use those quite a bit, I really like them. So the first thing I did was checked out this comp and it crashed. <laughs> it's, I can't believe it. My first uh, plugin I tried to open, it crashed. So then I tried another Arturia plugin Wanted to see if that was just a fluke. Uh, this time I tried to open up one of the delays, um, the VST3, and it crashed again, so not good. So I don't know if there's something up with uh, Arturia, but yeah, that was not a good way to start. So open Mixbus back up, um, opens just fine. And yeah, so just kind of decided let's go ahead and try and install a different plugin. So this time I went down, I, I really like the company Audio Thing, uh, so I tried to open up the Reels plugin, put that in there, and automatically it just started to resize it. Like it, it's just getting bigger, and I'm not doing anything. It's just getting bigger. So I tried to 
I went in, tried to resize it to small. It's not working. Tried again. Try to resize it back down to small. It's just not happening. So there, it it's at its biggest size, and now I'm gonna try and make it small again. But it it just starts. It's automatically resizing, which is just this is crazy. Like both the, both of the plugins that I've tried to open are just like they're all glitched and bugged out. So I'm gonna try another audio thing plugin. This time we'll try the type B. Same thing. It's just like it's like going. It's like a monster. It's just getting bigger. Make it smaller. Uh, but it's just on its own. <laughs> it's just growing. So this is just not working out. Okay, so I'm going to clear those, and let's just. I'm going to keep going through the list here, and this time. Uh, I'm going to open up a Boz Digital. Okay, so that looks good. Let's try another one. We'll try the wall, which is one of my limiters. Okay, so that looks good. So those plugins work great. So that's good. At least some of them work. We'll keep going down the list here. Uh, what did I do next? I did Fab Filter. We'll open up the Pro C2. Looks good. Uh, resize it. Yeah, looks good. Okay, so some of the plugins seem to be working just fine. And so what did I do next? I did Clevgrand. Okay, that one's looking good. Well, let's try another one. We'll try another Clevgrand. And this time we open the uh, grand finale, which is a mastering plugin, and that looks good too. So, so that's good. At least those worked. So, uh, yeah, I just kind of continued down, and this time I opened up the output portal, which is a really cool plugin, and that seems to have opened up, and and the GUI looks great. So, no big deal there. Keep going, and I'm just opening up like kind of my favorite plugins that I use a lot. Um, so open up a soft tube, one of the reverbs. Okay, so that opened up, but I don't know what's up with the, the red outline there. That seems to be a little strange, uh, but it looks like the plugin opened. Okay, we'll try another one. This time we'll do the drummer. Okay, yeah, I mean, it looks okay, but this weird red outline, I'm not sure what's up with that. So keep going down, and this time we're going to try some Waves plugins. So I'm going to open up my newest Waves plugin, which is the RS-124 compressor. And it's got that red outline, and it's, it's upside down. Like, the GUI is upside down. Like, what is up? This is so weird. I mean, this is just hilarious. A lot of glitches, a lot of bugs, and I'm just gonna op I'm gonna clear these out. Uh, just give myself some space and open up some more waves plugins here. Okay, so open up the the new Echo Sphere. Uh, same deal. It's got that red outline and it's upside down. So. These are those were the newest version twelve plugins of Waves, um, so maybe there's something up with that. Okay, I just opened up a Valhalla Vintage Verb, looks good. So yeah, I don't know what the deal is, uh, but that was not the best experience. Okay, well I have to admit I'm pretty disappointed. I mean, my number one priority with software is that it runs smoothly and that it doesn't crash. And it just seems like as of now, uh, Harrison's got some things to sort out as far as getting, you know, the bugs fixed with the, these plugins because it's clearly uh, just not not up to par. That said, I'm still a Mixbus fan. I think the program looks and sounds amazing, and I'm going to keep using it for my needs. 
I just hope Mixbus can get this sorted in the near future. We'll see what happens. All right, well, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure and like the video, subscribe to the channel, and make sure and ding that bell so you get updates every time I put out content. All right, take care of yourselves. Peace out. We'll see you next time.